This video introduces the Air Management System and EtherCAT setup. For this video tutorial, we will be setting up the EXA1 system with Beckhoff Twin Cat 3.1. We first need to download the XML file from the SMC World website. Copy the downloaded configuration file to the EtherCAT folder, this is usually to TwinCAT, 3.1, config, io, EtherCAT. To set an IP address on the EXA1 unit, connect the device directly to the laptop first. Open TwinCAT, and create a new project. Make sure that TwinCAT is in local, as the EtherCAT master is connected to a laptop computer. Open the TwinCAT menu, and select Show Real-Time Ethernet Compatible Devices. A pop-up will appear showing available Ethernet adapters. Select the appropriate adapter, and click Install. This will install the chosen adapter with EtherCAT drivers, and will allow for EtherCAT packets to be sent. Now, with the driver installed, the next step is to set an IP address. Open Windows Network Connections on the PC, and locate the newly created TwinCAT Ethernet adapter. Set the IP address and subnet mask. In TwinCAT, Expand I.O., and then select Devices. Now click the Scan button. A pop-up showing one new I.O. device found will appear. Ensure that the checkbox for the device is selected. Then click OK. Click Yes to scan for boxes. Devices will now be populated with EtherCAT Master and a box for the EXA1. Double-clicking on EtherCAT will bring up details on the main window. Select the Adapter tab. This will show breakdown details of the adapter. Next, download and install the IP address setting software from the SMC World website. Open the application. In Network Setting, the TwinCAT Ethernet adapter must be selected. Click on the Scan button, and wait for details of the EXA1 to appear on the device list. If the device hasn't had an IP assigned to it, then only the MAC address will appear here. To set up the desired IP address and subnet mask, double-click on the device. It is important to have no storage mode unchecked. If this is checked, the device will lose all its settings on power up. Click OK to update the settings. The IP address and subnet mask will now appear next to the MAC address. The system parameters can now be set up as in previous video tutorials. To do this, open up a web browser and type in the appropriate IP address in the address bar. After logging in, you will have access to the Air Management System page. It is important to note that the controller will need to have a web browser to allow access to the web server. This will allow the user to remote connect to a Windows desktop and access the EXA1 web server. Now we will connect the configured EXA1 to a controller. In TwinCAT, search for the controller and create a connection. Now, open a remote desktop connection and type in the IP address of the controller. Enter the credentials. User, administrator. Password, one. And then click OK. We now have access to the controller in the remote desktop. 
Now, in the controller, in Network Properties, set the IP address of the EtherCAT network. Make sure these settings are saved by clicking on OK. After saving the settings, go back into TwinCat. Select Device and click the Scan button to show all connected devices. Once the device is populated, head back to the remote desktop connection. Open a web browser here, and type in the IP address of the EXA1. This concludes this video on the air management system and EtherCAT setup.